Hello and welcome to Spurred On. This is another episode of Spurverts. I'm here with Craig Mitch oh, as yeah. usual. And this week we're going to be talking about the following. Number one, Wembley. The new Wembley deal in place for next season and the season after. The rumoured new kit, uh, Eric Dyer's own goal. Very tragic. Uh, the birthday dinner that a few of the England lads went on, including Eric Dyer. Uh, David Ginler on the road to recovery. Uh, and a certain viral video that we are not responsible for. Uh, first up, <laughs> it is Wembley. How do you feel about this? The deal's become in place that we're going to play our Champions League games there next year and the year after. Potentially, we're going to play all our home Premier League games there too. It's a weird one. It's bittersweet. I that? wanted to have what West Ham had at the last season at the bowling ground. Okay. That fortress. We know it's our last season. Yeah. Really going to make noise. I mean, if we had that in the Champions League back at White Hart Lane, mm. it would have been exciting. I think everyone would have got behind the team. We ain't got that now. It's at Wembley. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's kind of notorious for its bad atmosphere. Yeah, it's bad atmosphere when it's, when it's full, let yeah. alone our when allocation is going to be 50,000 or exactly. something. Exactly. It's, it's a bit weird. It's a bit... The, the crowd seem to be a bit far from the pitch as yeah. well, the way it's laid out. I mean, it's beautiful. Yeah. A lot of the big players that come from around Europe will love it. Nice changing rooms. But I, big, I, big wide pitch as well. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if... A lot more space to play. That could work in our favour, maybe. I mean... I don't know. A lot of Champions League teams are quite good on a big pitch. It's yeah. not like it is. I, I don't know. It's weird. It's, this is what I mean. It's weird. I, I mean, none of us want to travel far. Yeah. None of us want to travel far, so I think we're happy about it being Wembley. Yeah, we don't want to go to Milton Keynes. Exactly. So in that sense, I think it's a good thing, especially for the home games the season after. Yeah. But for Champions League next season, I'm not not convinced. I don't know. I think what's good about it is that there'll be more tickets available. That's, more of that's, us, that's a major positive. More of us will be able to go to it. Yeah. Uh, and I think more of us will. We haven't been in the Champions League for a while. Yeah. Uh, and we're obviously everyone's really excited about Spurs at the moment, Spurs fans. So I don't know. I think we'll, we'll be able to sell that many. Yeah, I think we will. But yeah, it will be interesting to see if we're able to create an atmosphere. That's that's the only problem. And we're 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 known for being kind of pessimists anyway mm. at White Hart Lane. Yeah. You know, we we kind of create that. I don't want to criticize the fans, but you know, as a as a season ticket holder, you know yourself, certain games we kind of get a bit Certainly funny in the tension. past. This season not so much, except for the end of this season. Yeah. But uh even I don't know, even during, say, the West Brom game, it was still the fans were still getting behind them trying to get yeah. trying to get them up for it. But I it, don't know. I like, mean, it'd this, be interesting to this see. This is the thing. It's like, it depends who you compare it to. Because if you compare how we were chanting at home to maybe like Leicester. Yes. Who were just all out party, parade, every yeah. single game for the whole season. And then when some fans like Dortmund come and then you go, all right, fair enough. That's how you should do yeah, it. Yeah, really. But I mean, I mean, Wembley's going to be a weird one. Like, I think the biggest positive is the fact that loads of people can go to these Champions League games yeah. now. Other than that, I can't really see too many positives about well, this. Well, you're forgetting that I live a lot closer to Wembley than White Hart Lane, so that's ah, a major positive, actually, for Do you want me. to tell people where you live? Right. Yeah, on the Jubilee Line somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Pretty London-centric, that. Yeah. But it's, I don't know, it, it's what we wanted, isn't it? It's, it's not ideal, but it's a sort of compromise, isn't it? It's like a middle yeah, ground. Yeah, it's yeah. better than going anywhere else. Of course. And, I mean, they, apparently they're, they're knocking down about what, what, one of the stands at our stadium now or they started construction so sad. on it. God. So we don't want to have just free stands, no. really. It's just going to be weird. That would be awful. But it is a shame that, like, I didn't really click into place that, that was gonna, I was never going to see White Hart Lane in the same way again. On, like the last home game, yeah. I didn't have that in mind. I didn't make the most of it. Do you know what stand they're going to be working on this season while we're at home in the Premier League? Is it your stand? Or? No, it's not mine. It's certainly not mine. It's oh, north. it's the north. Okay, it's the northeast corner. Mm, interesting. Yeah. So what will be reduced capacity? Four thousand. Four thousand fewer. Is that it? Well, you know. Yeah. It, yeah. It'll be all right. It'll well, be all right. It'll yeah. be all right for the home game of the season. But I see why Champions League is to do with allocation, isn't it? It's yeah, about how many you can give them. It's all about what's it? It's about the wedge. Yes, Let's face exactly. Facts. It's about the win. Yeah, we'll you know? make some cash from it. Yeah, definitely. It'll be fine. And we'll win the Champions League anyway, so we don't even have to worry. There you go. It could be a, it could be a lucky charm. And we might be playing in our rumoured new kit. Oh, oh, I like it. Yes. I know, right? It's getting so seamless. seamless. It's amazing. It is, uh... We even said that at the same time. Um, what do you think of the new rumoured kit? Also, like where's, where's the rumour come from? The internet. The, inter right. the interweb. Online. Yeah. yeah, been there. Seen a few things. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't like it. No, me I think either. it's so plain. I think it's so similar to the one from two years ago. I mean, two years ago, we had the blue on top, the white, and we had right. like a thin yellow line separating it with a weird pattern, which they exaggerated on FIFA. Yeah, I saw it. The pattern <laughs> just stand out. Uh, anyway, um, this one, they've kind of had blue on the top with like a gold strip. Yeah, and that like V-neck yeah, thing. Yeah, I... I I, I'm not a fan. It's like the old school thing. It's like it's, it's like, like it's trying to be like a retro kit, but it's not gone all the way. No. It's like a weird, 
they got the balance all wrong. Bring back the sash. That's what I say. I'm going like to start a petition to bring back the yeah, sash. Yeah, I like that. I really like yeah? the kit this year. A lot of people didn't like it. I thought it was our best kit for ages. The joke started, you know. Yeah, seat of course. Seat for the crash season, and yeah, it came in. It, it did it definitely come came true. In. We thought that we had the last laugh. People no. predicted that to happen a lot earlier than it did, yeah, but right it did still happen. It did. It did. They were buckled up. Yeah. Oh, God. But yeah, there's no seatbelt. Maybe because maybe there's no seatbelt this season, we're yeah. just gonna go for it. That's it. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think that was in the players' heads. <laughs> They're going. Well, this seatbelt's gonna come in handy. Um, yeah, I hope that's not the kit. Uh, but, I don't know, it always looks worse in a picture on the internet than it does on the players anyway. Yeah, it does. And, I mean, it's our last kit anyway, and then we're moving over to another brand. But, we are. You know, I have sources. And another sponsor. Yeah, i got sources, but we're not going to get into that. The kit's all, it's, it's average, I don't really like it. Nike? Hey. You can't I'm saying, say. I'm not, I, shh, Blink once if it's Nike. I, I, I just, <laughs> oh, he's not blinking. No. Oh, no. interesting. Uh, now, Eric Dyer scored an own goal for England. What did you make of it that? It was a calamity. It was, it was an it amazing is? finish. It was funny. It was. <laughs> it was. When he came on, I said, he's going to mess up. I just said it. I pointed it to the universe. I don't know why. Don't shoot me, guys. But I just knew something was going to go wrong. He's coming in about the 80th minute. He hasn't played. When was the last time he played centre-half? Yeah, I know, yeah. Ages. Hodgson <sighs> stuck him in there. That We've had a clean sheet. And I just knew. I didn't think he would score an own goal, but I just thought he would make some sort of mistake. And it was, it was off the back of Hodgson saying, well, no, of course, Eric Dyer can cover it centre back so we were fine and then this obviously he comes on for 10 minutes scores an own goal what and the experiment doing? fails but I mean I think it's unfair to judge someone on that it was just he got it he just got it all wrong yeah, but it's why did it have to be one of our players it was one why? of us it was <laughs> why why are we continuing the spursiness now into international I know, football I know well that's no, fine his legs as well it's a friendly and we won it's fine it does. It didn't matter. Did you see? Did you see Fraser Foster's face? He yeah, was yeah. Fuming. Just a comedy he moment, was wasn't it? Fuming. He wanted that clean sheet. He was so angry. It was one of those own goals that, like, if a striker finished that, you'd be like, that is really impressive. But <laughs> but an own goal, you just go. I mean, how could that possibly have happened? Why did he do it though? Didn't like, make any why, sense. Why it, did he even it defied go to the header? physics? It, it did. didn't make it, sense. It did. I don't know what he was thinking. It was absolute. It was just a joke. The best way to put it. Would I, you? Uh, so would you? Would you start Eric Dyer? In the Euros, of course, if you're of course. in charge, just but not that centre not half. Centre back. Even each, you know what? Even if we needed a centre half and our centre halves were injured, I'm not starting in there. Who are you starting there? After that, anyone else? A anyone? I'd move one of our fullbacks. Yeah, because he's just a liability at this stage. I so, I mean, it's so unfair to judge him no, on I'm that. Joking. It's I'm, ten I'm minutes. I'm joking. I'm joking. But it was just horrible. It was just when it happened, I was like, this is just a joke. Like why? And then the joke started online. Yeah, as usual, with the Spurs player, they're effing shit. Despite us being the spine of the England team, yeah. Did you Despite... like the way I just bleeped out effing? But yeah, it still said that shit. That made sense. <laughs> oh, it's slightly ruder, isn't it? Yeah. I appreciate it. Um, all right, well, Eric Dyer was also pictured uh, with Deli Ali, Ross Barkley and John Stones having a birthday dinner yeah. uh, on Instagram. I saw it. I believe the caption uh, referred to John Stones as a pencil. Pencil Stonesy. Why do we think that's the case? Because he looks like a pencil. Yeah, he's, he's, sort the size of, of his he's legs. long and he's... He's just sort of thin and yeah. Doesn't look like a footballer. Just pencil doesn't doesn't sort of move very well. Do you think that's his nickname in there? Pencil. 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 They all call him hey, pe pencil. Hey, pencil. Horrible nickname. Possible pencil. Pencil. God. Would you start John Stones above Eric Dyer in centre back? The pencil. Yeah, of course. And would you? But, technically, okay. he's, he's technically who you, good. You, what about above Smalling and Cahill? Who are you picking out of you? Smalling and Cahill. What if I just who's your start two? Stones? Who's, who's oh your no, two? no, it's Smalling and Cahill. That's it. Right. You're not Stones. Stones. Back up, Eric Dyer. Not quite. After that, header. right. So, yeah. Eric, is Eric Dyer even fourth in your mind, or is he? I don't know. I just think he needs to play DM. That's yeah, it. That's what I he's agree. there. I agree. Treat it like Twitter. Why not John DM. Stones? Why? Why are you not picking Stones? Um, is he also? Cahill's a got a... more experience. Smalling was probably the best English centre half in the league this season. I think yeah. that's fair to say. So them two have to start more experience. I think Stones is a bit of a liability at times. Yeah, I mean he's just a bit too arrogant for my liking. I think right. he does things on the ball that doesn't. I mean, I'm, I like it when defenders can play it out of the back, mm. go forward and not just hoof it up the field. But I think he just takes it a bit too far, a bit too many touches. Yeah, just takes risks when he doesn't need to, just because he doesn't want to look like oh I'm being pressured off the ball. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get rid of it. Please. It's weird. He really splits fans and pundits, doesn't he? Like yeah. some people say, no, you, that's exactly what you need. That's why English football so far behind is because we don't have centre backs who play it out from the back. We yeah. just have people who hoof it up the pitch, and then other people go just going get rid of it, you maniac. The what thing are you is, doing? I wouldn't mind, but you're you're not Gerard Piquet. Like, yeah, you, he's you just can't not. Just 
But he's got potential. He could he could eventually be a player yeah, he like could that. Get there, he could but be a Ramos. Come at the cost of big mistakes, and I don't want that during the Euros, mate. So you Fair know, you do it for Everton or whoever you play for. Just don't do it on the main stage, which I support. I don't support what team you play for. So you know. Fair enough. Did you think that Ross Barkley's outfit in that Instagram picture was a big mistake? <laughs> Huge mistake, a huge mistake. Looked like he came straight from sixth form, didn't he? <laughs> but why was he wearing that though? Why was he wearing like the shirt with the little flipping with the collar out, the sweater around it? What was he doing? <laughs> like Deli Ali was there, cool T-shirt, Eric Dyer T-shirt, John Stones on his birthday T-shirt, and this guy rocks up like that. Ah, uh, he wants to look smart. Maybe he's trying to impress Roy. It seems like the sort of outfit Roy Hodgson would like. Yeah. He likes his players to dress in a nice shirt, a nice crisp white shirt. You think he's trying shirt. to suck up to the manager? Yeah, I do. I think sure his place isn't guaranteed, and he's going, well, I'll dress smart to show that I'm into this, and then people won't call me a pencil. When did this little link-up between Spurs and Everton happen? <laughs> yeah, That's what I'm trying know. to figure out. When, well, they're all young. Where did this come from? It's just the young lads, isn't it? They're everyone in that team. I'm relieved, I'm relieved Jack Wilshere wasn't in that picture. He would never have been in that picture. No way. Never in a million would, years. Would I think Deli Ali would have decked him. Yeah. He, he absolutely tried to come into the picture. He'd have smashed into bits. Plus, how would they have got his wheelchair next to the table? It wouldn't have really fit, fit in, would it? That's, they went somewhere that wasn't wheelchair accessible just yeah. so that he couldn't come. Um, OK, uh, also, uh, David Ginola is on the road to recovery after Thank having God. a quadruple bypass. Wow. Um, yeah. Quadruple? I think so, yeah. But he's back home now, apparently. Uh, and we wish him well, of course. Yeah. It was very sad news to hear. Uh, I was shocked. To go in. Yeah, I was me shocked. too. I mean, he looks he looks good for his age. The looks smile, very all good. The looks grey hair. Looked healthy. Yeah, but the grey hair he pulls off the grey hair, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks great. It's kinda almost like, like a fashion statement. Kind of like Joey Tribbiani. It's a bit like uh, Matt LeBlanc. Yes, yeah, it's grey hair things in fashion, <laughs> as I see. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, he looked healthy to me. You know, he had a nice tan. He, he's he's a footballer. He's been playing football for years. So you don't really expect that to happen. Mm. And it was kind of a surprise. And but it's good to hair. hear. Yeah, it's good to hear that he's he's back home. Yeah. And he's all right, and he's, as far as we're aware, sort of healthy and safe, yeah, and it's fine. That's, that's the most important thing. I do think yes. it's a bit of a conspiracy, though. And I might have to call a friend, to call a friend, to call a friend, to maybe get that conspiracy figured out. Do you know the guy who does conspiracy? I don't know the guy who, do you know him? I've got a theory of who it is, but I don't want to say. I have no idea. But I'll I say my theory on who's the conspiracy guy if you tell me who's going to be the next kit sponsor. We'll do this off camera. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, we also need to talk about a certain video that's been doing the rounds oh all over the internet uh, that is embarrassing Spurs fans. And it isn't this one. It's called You Got Caned. You just got caned. You just got caned. You just got caned. You just got caned. And it's nothing to do with us. Okay. Some people were saying that okay. it was. It has you nothing to do with us. Don't perpetuate the myth care. that Spur don't have anything to do with You, you Got Kane. Craig only heard that for the first time about 10 minutes before we started filming this. Uh, somehow he managed to avoid it, but it's, uh, yeah. Jack. I'm not going to lie, it is a banger. It's a it's stinger. It's a catchy tune. It's a stinger. I think it's genuinely going to make the next now, this is what I can <laughs> use it, top 40, honestly. It's a bit embarrassing though, isn't it? I mean... Well, we Look, I'm hearing through the grapevine that it wasn't even a Spurs fan. Jack it at was Spurred a On has a theory that yeah. it was uh, it was Arsenal fans trying that, to embarrass Spurs Arsenal fans. That's got Arsenal fans written all over it. Yeah, they're bad embarrassing. They're, they're, even though we were the embarrassment of the season. They're embarrassing. The way they behave, the way they act, it's got them written all over it. We would never do anything it's like that. It's quite a savvy thing to do, to show up a rival team's fans by pretending to be them and doing something terrible, isn't it? Well, this is, this is how the But if you're a real like. Arsenal fan, how are you able to put the Spurs shirt on? Should I give you an example of how the internet can you know, twist things? Sure. I've got a mate called Troy. He's a magician. Okay. And in one series, he's an Arsenal fan. He changed the Arsenal badge to Spurs in his first Magic show, and everyone thought he was a Spurs fan because he changed the Arsenal badge to Spurs, and everyone went for him and kind of, oh, really? even though he's an Arsenal fan, these are how things can be twisted online, and this is what they're trying to do. <laughs> they're trying to, you know, they're trying to make it seem like, oh yeah, we're going to plant this, and we know the internet's going to react to this and think, clever, we're on to you though. We know what you're trying well, to do. Well, the reason Jack's got his theory, it's based purely on. Uh, I hope he doesn't mind me saying this, and if he does, he can edit this out. But uh, it's purely, you just bleep this whole section. It's purely based on the fact that one comment on the video is like, haha, very funny, this is great. Yeah. And he replies saying, someone gets it. Uh, what, the guy that made the video? The guy that made the video replied okay. saying, good, someone gets it. That's a conspiracy theory, mate. That is, a, that is another conspiracy theory. Phone the guy that you, your mate knows and knows his cousin who knows the guy who does the conspiracy I, things. I think I might just be in the minority, though, that I think it's a banger. You think you really? You think I, it's think, a I think it was. You know, I think they could have made a bit more of an effort with the visuals, the dance, maybe yeah, the, the timing, the lyrics, ev yeah, all um, of that. The willingness to show their faces, everyone in the background. That as well. They're all balaclavered up. 
But the I'm about to go and rob a bank. The melody's there. More embarrassed by that song than committing criminal acts. <laughs> um, but it wasn't us, okay? Stop saying it was us. It's got nothing, nothing to, to do, do with us. Not. Okay. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed Spurvers. Let us know what you thought of You Got Caned, although I'm sure it'll be very positive. Uh, let us know what you think of the Wembley deal that's in place, uh, the rumoured new kit. Uh, do you think that's realistic? Do you think it's good, better than this year, worse, whatever? Dyer's own goal. Uh, would you risk playing Dyer at centre-back again? Uh, the birthday dinner, Ross Barkley's outfit in particular, uh, and David Schindler, of course. We wish you well. We uh, drop us a like, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you next time. Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On and this is your Tuesday edition of Tottenham Transfer Talk. We're going to rush through it. First up, the Daily Telegraph have talked once again about Swiss teenagers